All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Now, in this video, I kind of wanted to talk about uh, Scottie Pippen really quickly. Now, I'm not going to get into too much um, about Scottie Pippen's case, but if you if you don't know who Scottie Pippen is, former NBA player, um, Hall of Famer, six-time NBA champion, uh, he was original member of Dream Team 1 when he won a gold medal in Barcelona at the Olympic Games. Um, with, you know, Michael Jordan, uh, all those people on that team, that legendary Dream Team 1. So he's a Hall of Famer. Now, he's in the news because he just uh, filed for a divorce from his wife of 19 years. I believe they were married 19 years. Uh, four kids. Uh, her name is Larsa Pippen. And I don't know too much about Larsa Pippen. I know that that's Scottie Pippen's wife. Um, they got four kids together. Um, that's pretty much all I know. I know she got an Instagram account. And uh, she looks good, by the way. I mean, she had four four kids. She really keep herself together. She looks real good. But it was something... Um, it was something random that was in that story. She was like, me and this the rapper Future are not, are not together. We're not an item. So I'm like, okay, uh, okay, future, all right. And then it the, the way the story was kind of worded was like, you know, Scottie Pippen filed a, a divorce for that reason because he thinks that she's, um, you know, with future. But he didn't say that. If you actually read the story, Scotty didn't say that. So who who knows why he's getting a divorce? People get divorced all the time. It's no big deal. That happens all the time. People get divorced. So he could be filing for divorce for a number of reasons maybe he just got tired of her but that's really not my motivation for making this video my thing is you know with these um high profile athletes people get divorced all the time you see this going on right now with uh brad and angelina they get a divorce it happens all the time and people just they grow apart and they get tired of each other but you know, for athletes, wouldn't you would think that you would just wait until your career is over before you get a before you get married? Because I'm not saying that this lady Larsa is this way, but I mean she's set. She doesn't have to work for the rest of her life. I know she's gonna get a substantial amount of money, and she's not gonna have to work. The same thing happened with Michael Strahan uh, years ago. His wife took him to the cleaners, and he didn't even sign a prenup. He didn't, she didn't, he didn't make her sign a prenup. And I, I hope that Scotty got some kind of prenup with this woman. But I mean, they've been together 19 years, so she's going to get a substantial amount of money. And I don't know if she work or anything like that. Um, I know that she's on this show or whatever, something about Miami, a basketball. I don't know. I don't know what she's on, but I know she's on something. And um, I know she posts several pictures every day showing how good she looked. She do look good, though, and I appreciate the pictures. I'll be liking them. <laughs> Scotty, she look good, but people get tired, you know what I mean? But take somebody like Derek Jeter, for example. He's been with the Yankee organization for years, made plenty of money. He was not married throughout his whole career. That's a smart man. That's a smart dude right there. That is a smart dude, and like he waited to after his career to get into something serious. You understand? He don't been with who's who in Hollywood. You know what I mean? Derek got it right, and... If I was like that kind of athlete, I know this is going to sound wrong. Like if I was making millions and millions of dollars, I'm going to try to find somebody that got more money than me or got the same amount. You understand? Because, you know, if I'm a millionaire right now, athlete and all that, what's the chance a woman really going to um, marry me for love? Think about it. I'll wait. <laughs> It's not going to happen, really, man. It's like that's the that's what you give up when you become a professional athlete. It's, it'll be very hard to find something real. You know, oh, I'm going to marry this man for him. That's bullshit. Not what you got all that kind of money. If I'm holding $50 million right now, they're going to be loving that money. And they'll say anything to you to get to that money. And it's not just women, it's, it goes for men too. Look at Mary J. Blige, um, ex, Ken Do, what is his name, Ken Do Isaacs. He trying to take that woman to the cleaners, talking about she got to give him an extra 5000 a month so he can get to his parents. So it go both ways, you know what I mean? Not just with you ladies, but it's, it's the men too. 
Um, but like somebody like, um, you know who else did it right? Um, Tom Brady, the great Tom Brady, the New England Patriots quarterback. His wife make a ton of money. See, that's what I'm talking about. So if they so happen to get divorced, she's not trying to take him to the fucking cleaners. She got her own money. You understand? And um, now I'm hearing about this dude, Tristan Thompson. Um, what did he play for? He plays for the uh, Cleveland Cavaliers, right? Now he's don't left his baby mother for uh, uh, allegedly Khloe Kardashian. Okay, um, Chloe got money. Chloe got money. Um, he's probably looking at it as like a come up. Chloe got a little money. Um, I don't know if she's still with Lamar and whatever. She could be with both. Chloe could be trying to put a team together. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, Chloe, um, she got Lamar. Um, I don't know if she's still with him, but now they saying that she with Tristan. Chloe could be running the stable. You know what I mean? But um, I just don't agree with if I'm holding a certain amount of cash, if I'm going to bring somebody, if I'm going to marry somebody, because first of all, marriage is a business. I'm not going to marry somebody that got all the shit to gain. You understand what I mean? I want to marry somebody that's going to bring something to the table. Either help me get more money or you got the, the same amount or more. You understand? I, You know, why aren't these athletes going after somebody like Serena? Isn't she, um, isn't she single? Serena or Venus? Like, why aren't they going after, like, uh, Halle Berry or something? Halle, Halle crazy. Nah, nah, and, um, next Halle. I mean, I would give Halle a shot for a little bit. Halle crazy. Halle don't been with David Justice, Wesley Snipes. Um, what's the model dude that she had the baby with? The model dude been with him. Then she was married to this French dude that ain't working. Had Hallie is the common denominator here. Hallie crazy. I don't know. So Nick's Hallie out the deal, even though she got a little bit of bread, but Nick Nick's her out the deal. I mean, I would give her a shot, you know what I mean? But I would, you know, keep other women on the team. You know what I mean? I know y'all probably like you you would be lucky to have Hallie, but see that's the difference for me with other men. I don't give a fuck how much money she got or how much she looked. If she's not cooperating and giving me grief, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I can I can be done. That's the difference. But um, I just recommend these um, athletes is to find somebody that actually bring a lot to the table and not have more to gain. Because this woman ain't got to work no more in her life. All, all she... All she could just worry about is taking sexy pictures on the gram. You know, and I'm not trying to bash women. It goes for men, too, because look at Ken Do Isaacs with Mary J. Blige. She try, he trying to take her ass to the cleaners. You understand? And I, they did sign a prenup, but he trying to say that shit is invalid because with no lawyer present. But shit happens all the time, man. I wish Scotty the best. Um... I don't know if she cheated with Future. Who gives a fuck? People cheat all the damn time. If she did, she did. I'm sure he did too. You understand? But I just don't know if you could find that real shit no more. You know what I mean? So if until I find something real, I'm going to keep multiple women on the team until I find something real. And I know y'all like, what do you mean you keep multiple women on the team? I mean, I'm going to be keeping my options open until I find some real shit. Because right now, I ain't find no real shit. You understand? And when I thought I did, it was a goddamn problem. So, it is what it is. But um, let me know what you think about this whole Scotty Pippen situation. I didn't really want to make this video, like, per se, talking about Scotty. But I just wanted to say that, you know, marriage is a business. And, you know, if you're going to bring somebody into your business, if you get married, there's two corporations coming together as a merger. Um... So you really got to be careful out here. Um, you know, not just millionaire athletes. You could be coming into some money tomorrow. If you come into some money tomorrow, you're going to have multiple people, um, you know, trying to um, get your attention. But you got to use your mind at the end of the day. Um, and that's just what it is. Um, my godfather used to tell me that. He used to give me that game when I was little. He was like, um, you get a certain amount of um, income, you got to be careful. And you got to make sure they got some too, but... 
I don't know. You guys let me know what you think about this topic, man. Um, Scottie Pippen getting divorced. Who cares? You know what I mean? It, this shit happens all the time. Angelina and them getting divorced, too. It's no big deal. But all right. Um, until next time, take care.